Sadie's big brother, Manu, has been learning about recycling at school. Sadie doesn't understand what recycling means, but Manu tells her it is like a circle, finding a way to reuse things again and again instead of throwing them away. What kind of things, Manu? asks Sadie. Things like plastic bottles, bags, used paper and cardboard, even food scraps can be kind of eaten again, he tells her. I don't want to eat scraps of old food, Sadie shrieks in horror. Yuck! Of course not, says Manu. Recycling means finding a new way to reuse things. We watched a video at school about how fish, turtles and birds are getting hurt by plastic bags and bottles. Our teacher told us the best way to help is to recycle all our plastic things so these creatures don't think they look like food and try to eat them. She said that whenever we recycle, all the fish, turtles and birds say, thank you. So the children decide to recycle. Sadie is secretly hoping to hear the thank you from all the fish, turtles and birds she has saved by recycling plastic. Their parents are very proud that their children want to recycle to save the sea creatures and birds, and they explain how to do it. Have you noticed that we have three different coloured bins? They ask. Well, our favourite one is the bin with the yellow top. That's for most plastic bottles, glass jars, paper, cardboard, tins and cans. You can put all those things straight into the yellow bin. When it's full, a truck empties it and takes everything to factories. At the factories, all of it can be made into other things like containers and mats and bags. Manu reminds them that plastic bags don't go into the yellow bin though. We can't put plastic bags in the yellow bin. Instead, we take them back to the shop they came from. Then the shop sends them off to be recycled. Dad has some more great advice. When we go shopping, we should use the strong cotton bags since they can be used again and again. Cotton bags are made from plants and can be broken down easily. Sadie suddenly says, shh. She is listening very carefully. She is sure she can hear watery noises and lots of different voices coming from a shell she holds to her ear. She hears a little fishy, squeaky voice saying, thank you. Then a big, gruff, sharky voice saying, thanks. She also hears the terribly timid turtle voice saying, Th -th thank you very, very much. 